Hello everybody. Well this week I'm turning an amazing piece of wood that Danella Burns Penman sent me. Thank you so much Danella. Why is this wood so special? Well, this is an old growth redwood burl. Old growth meaning about as old as this redwood could possibly be at about 2,000 years which left me kind of intimidated when I uh, when I got this package in the mail. I just didn't want to wreck it, you know? I, I, it would be such a shame to waste this wood that's been on this earth for so long. The natural sides, the spiky, gnarly, burly stuff, I decided to go ahead and cut that off but I'm going to preserve it and make, uh, make something else with it in the future. I have an idea but I've got to refine that idea some before I tell you what it is. So I'm using my circle cutting jig here. It'll cut a nice round piece a little bit wider than I need and I should end up with about an 11 inch in diameter very nice centerpiece fit for anyone's dining room table or living room look at those things uh, they're so cool there's no way i was going to waste those that screw is what my chuck is going to hold on to See there, it goes in the center, and I just tighten the truck up around it. This redwood is fairly light, so I think it'll be nice and stable. So once I've got the chuck tightened around the screw, then I tighten the wood up to the chuck. And that's what gives it the nice firm hold. And you can see the circle cutting jig for that bandsaw did a good job making it round, but I still have to shape the outside and even it up. And the shape that I'm going for is going to be a convex, just a total convex shape, and I'll have to undercut it when I do the inside of the bowl. Here I'm just marking for the uh, mortise or the recess that I'm going to use to hold this bowl onto the chuck when I reverse mount it. The center mark is for my ID tag, but as far as the mortise goes, it's very shallow, very shallow mortise, and it works in conjunction with that, uh, that foot design, which I like very much. See, I don't go very deep. Yeah. 
And before I reverse mount this, I do sand it and finish it. But I'll show that at the end of the video on the inside of the bowl. But right now, let's take a look at what some subscribers have made. I'm always so impressed and humbled by the talent in this audience. Blair Young made this bowl. So cool. Mike Resendez made these cribbage boards. I love those things. Just amazing. And Sean McDermott made this. And he made the fruit to go in it. Isn't that something? Just amazing. Go back and pause and take a look at that fruit. Just, <laughs> Just amazing. I said it before, I'll say it again. So much talent in this audience. It really, really humbles me that you all want to watch what I do. I appreciate it very much. The line that you saw on top of the bowl, on the rim, that was a natural crack. And I filled that and one other with a mixture of thick CA glue and gold mica powder. I'm really happy with the results. Once the bowl is finished, it's so subtle it's almost invisible. What you saw me doing there was I sanded it up to 200 and then I hit it with some denatured alcohol just to clean it and raise the grain. And then I re-sanded it at uh, 200 all the way up to 1000 grits. And then I used Axe Abrasive Paste and Polish to finish.
turning redwood is now it's very similar to turning cedar which I just love so I'm already in love with turning redwood and I just cannot believe how beautiful this wood is Well, let me know what you think. I sure appreciate you watching. God bless and Semper Fi.